Good morning and welcome back to Sunday School. We are so happy to have you here with us and today I am happy to have Jody Johnson with me. Thanks for being here, Jody. You're welcome. And good morning to everyone. Um, I really enjoyed the story last week. Yeah, it's one of the good ones. You know, we get to hear how the serpent tricked Eve yep. into eating the apple off the forbidden tree. Mm -hmm. And that's one of those stories that's just a great reminder of how the devil is just always working, trying to trick us, trying to pull us toward evil. Yep, it's a really good reminder and it's a good daily reminder as well. And we are lucky that when we get to teach this story, that story to our kids in Sunday school, they really do understand it. Today's story is called Abram's Call. And in this story, we get to hear how God calls Abram to leave his home and follow him. All right, let's read. One day God said to a man named Abram, it's time for you to leave your home and family and go to a new land. In this new land, I will give you many things and make sure people know about you. I will be kind to those who are kind to you. To the ones who are unkind, I will be unkind. Because of you, all the families on earth will be blessed. Abraham or Abram was 75 years old and had a long white beard, but he didn't let his age stop him. On his trip, Abram took his wife, Sarah, and his nephew, Lot. They walked the many miles leading to the new land. It was a hot and dusty trip, but Abram knew that where God was leading them would be a beautiful place. The trip was long and hard because they carried all their pots and pans, dishes, and clothes with them. Whew, I'm hot, said Sarah as her face grew red. I'm getting kind of tired, sighed Abram. My feet hurt, groaned Lot. When they finally got to the land of Can Canaan, Abram stopped by a tall and shady oak tree. It felt good to get out of the blazing sun. God came to him there in the cool shade and said, I have a surprise for you. I promise to give this land to your family forever. Abram and Sarah and Lot were so thankful to God for this wonderful gift that they jumped and danced and hugged each other and shouted hooray. To show God how grateful they were, Abram decided to build two altars to honor God. He would build one altar out of a large smooth stones by the tree and the other altar out of pieces of wood by his tent in the hills. Very good. You know, one of the things we often hear in our Bible stories is how strong faith can be. Yes. I mean, Abram's faith, wow, very, yes. very strong. Um, the other is how God rewards those who truly believe and then, you know, decide to follow. Yeah. And just like in our story today, we got to see Abram put all of his faith in God and leave his home. When they left, they did not know how long the trip would be or where they would even end up. And most of us, that would be very scary. I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, I would be nervous, scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that would be hard. Um, at the end of the story, you know, we get to hear how God loved Abram and his family so much that he gave him all this land. The land would be where Abram's family and um, all kind of their descendants after, you know, would live forever. Yeah, so this is such a great story once again, just to, when you're starting to feel like your faith might be not as strong as it used to be, just remember how God rewards you when you keep that faith. For your activity today, we are going to make Abram. And on the church's website, under our Sunday School tab, you will find this template that you can print out. So once you print it out, feel free to color it however you want. You can then attach it however you would like. I use these uh, pins that you can poke through and then the backs spread out. And so here is Abram. Very cute. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. And <clears throat> excuse me, before we uh, leave um, or end our time together, would you join me in prayer? Dear God, Help us to hear your directions for our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thanks for being here, Jody. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week.